establishing in the six perfections. Question. What are the reasons for the order adopted here by the Prajnaparamita Sutra? Answer. The good is of three kinds. 1. The good of the present life, 2. The good of the future life and 3. Absolute good. Etyanta Ida. Again, there are three kinds of happiness. 1. The happiness of the present life, 2. The happiness of the future life and 3. Supermundane happiness. In the previous section, the sutra spoke of the good and the happiness of the present life. Here it speaks of the good and the happiness of the future life and supermundane good and happiness. This is why it makes sure that beings are established in the six perfections. The fondness for beings of the bodhisattva surpasses the fondness of parents for their children. Feelings of loving kindness and compassion penetrate him even into the marrow of his bones. First he fills beings with food and drink and drives away the torments of hunger and thirst. Then he adorns their bodies with garments and makes them feel comfortable. But the good feelings of the bodhisattva are not fully satisfied. Then he has the following thought. Beings have already obtained happiness in the present life, but I am still thinking that they should obtain happiness in the future life. If I teach them the six worldly perfections, they will enjoy happiness among humans and gods, but later they will return to wander in samsara. Therefore I still must teach them the six supermundane perfections so that they can obtain unconditioned eternal bliss. Moreover, I have already adorned their bodies with garments, flowers, perfumes, etc. Now I will adorn their minds with qualities. If they possess the three kinds of adornments, they will be complete and faultless, namely. 1. Garments, the seven jewels, etc. 2. Merits. 3. The dharmas of the path. As the bodhisattva wishes to array beings with this triple adornment, the Prajnaparamita first spoke in the preceding section of the fruits of retribution of the qualities. Here it speaks of the causes and conditions of these qualities. Furthermore, as I previously said, although they receive great gifts, beings cannot completely profit from them as a result of their sins. Prita Sutra. Thus the NGO Kaai King says. Even if they are given food, the Pritas are unable to eat it, for it is changed for them into glowing embers or into some impure thing. Finally, the Bodhisattva does not give anything whatsoever, but he uses skillful means so that beings obtain clothing, food, and other benefits. This is why the Bodhisattva teaches them to practice meritorious actions, each before collecting himself what he has done himself. The Bodhisattva knows well that the mechanism of causes and conditions cannot be violated and that beings must first receive his teachings in order that they themselves collect the fruits. This is why, according to the order adopted here, he teaches beings to become established in the six perfections. 2. Beings to be established in the six perfections. 1. Their number. Question. The Bodhisattva wants all the beings of the ten directions to become established in the six perfections. Why then does the Prajnaparamita Sutra here speak only of the beings populating universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges? Answer. For the auditors of the Dharma, the expression as numerous as the sands of the Ganges is familiar. Moreover, for a Bodhisattva who has just produced the mind of Bodhi, to speak of beings infinite and innumerable would be too much and would throw him into confusion. On the contrary, for a great bodhisattva, the expression numerous as the sands of the Ganges is not used by way of computation. Moreover, the expression numerous as the sands of the Ganges also means an infinite immense number, as will be said in a later chapter. Finally, the expression numerous as the sands of the Ganges has already been used to designate the universes of the ten directions and as here we are not speaking of one single Ganges, there is no objection to be raised. As a result, to speak of universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges is not wrong. On the meaning of the expression universes as numerous as the sands of the Ganges, see what has been said above. 2. The Various Categories of Beings beings. 
the name of being is given to the five skandhas, to the eighteen elements, to the twelve bases of consciousness, to the six elements of the human body, to the twelve causes and to a quantity of dharmas. They are gods, humans, cows, go, horses, etc. There are two kinds of beings. Mobile or still. The mobile ones produce physical and mental actions, the still ones are unable to do so. Material or immaterial. With two feet or without feet. Four-footed or multi-footed. Worldly or super-worldly. Big or small. Noble or ordinary. There are beings predestined to damnation, predestined to salvation or without predestination. Unhappy, happy, or neither unhappy nor happy. Higher, middling, or lower. Still practicing, no longer practicing or neither one nor the other. Conscious, unconscious, or neither conscious nor unconscious. Belonging to the desire realm, to the form realm or to the formless realm. Beings belonging to the desire realm are of three kinds. As a result of their roots of good, they are higher, middling, or lower. The higher ones are the six classes of the gods of desire. The middling ones are those among humans who are wealthy and noble. The lower ones are those among humans who are vile. The four continents are distinguished by differences in face. Bad beings are also of three categories. The higher are the damned. The middling ones are the animals, the lower are the pritas. Moreover, the beings of the desire realm are of ten types as they are arranged in the three bad destinies, the world of humans and the six classes of gods of karmatidu. There are three kinds of hells. The hot hells, the cold hells and the dark hells. There are three types of animals. Aerial, terrestrial, or aquatic. Diurnal, nocturnal, or both diurnal and nocturnal. And other differences of the same kind. There are two kinds of pritas. Lecherous pritas and emaciated pritas. The lecherous pritas enjoy happiness like the gods but they live with the starving pritas of whom they are the leaders. The starving pritas have an enormous belly like a mountain, a mouth like the eye of a needle and consist of three things. A black skin, tendons, and bones. For innumerable hundreds of years, they have not even heard the words food and drink, still less have they seen their shapes. There are also pritas who emit fire from their mouth. Flying butterflies throw themselves into this fire, and the pritas eat them. There are also pritas who eat excrement, spit, pus, and blood, the water from laundry, who feed on ablations or who devour the afterbirth. There are all kinds of starving pritas of this kind. The six classes of the desire gods are the Kater Maharajadavas, etc. Besides these six classes of gods, there are yet other gods, for example, the wearers of necklaces, the corrupted by joy, the corrupted by mind, the gods with bird's feet, the gods of pleasant looks. Eh? These gods are included in the six classes of desire gods.